Hello Rules Reacts here, and welcome to another blind commentary. Today I'm going to be reacting to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 8 Episode 17, The End in Friend. So I guess this episode will be handling um, how to deal with a friendship ending, I guess? Um, not entirely sure, but I hope that um, we keep the streak of good episodes going because there have been a couple flops this season. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh, hello, Rarity. Why are you dressed like that? Just the pony I'm looking for. Can you come to Twilight's class with me? It won't take long. Oh, I'd love to help, but I have to meet Rainbow Dash for our day of fun together. Twilight wants to oh. use you as an example for the students. Woo! Example for the students. <laughs> oh. I thought I was the example. You both are. Wait, what's because going on? Together, you perfectly demonstrate my lesson on compromise and friendship. Rainbow Dash and Rarity have very different interests that keep them busy. But being friends is so important to them, they always manage to make time for each other. Oh. <laughs> Our day of fun was hard to plan, but with Rainbow Dash's extremely time-consuming and erratically scheduled Wonderbolt practice. And Rarity's weird fashion style. Weird? She's working on her winter collection, and it's not even summer yet. But you still found time to be together. And that's what counts. This is not going to be another Applejack stay off of episode, is it? In action. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your day of fun. Oh, oh, what amazing stuff are you going to do together? Oh, shopping shopping. Races. What? Blast shopping. Blast shopping. Blast shopping. Oh. oh, come on. I even said shopping that time. Perfect. We'll go shopping first. I brought stuff for Bug Bug. Are we supposed to be learning something here? Because this doesn't sound like compromising at all. Yeah, you guys have nothing in common. How can you be friends? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey, this is an interesting take on this episode that I wasn't expecting. Though, usually this type of thing is done with Applejack and Rarity, but it's interesting to see it done with Rainbow Dash and Rarity. But I guess Applejack and Rarity's um, example of how different they are has been done to death, so. But it's interesting that they agreed to hang out together, but they didn't agree on the activities they would do. But that seems to happen a lot in this show, now that I think about it. Even though Rainbow Dash and Rarity enjoy doing different things, there are plenty of reasons why they're friends. Uh, like what? We've always been friends. Always? Well, no, not always, but for like a super long time. And we know all the same ponies. Um, Knowing. Is that it? Hmm. There was that time during the Cloudsdale Best Young Flyer competition when I totally saved Rarity's life. Yeah, that's true. And I once proved Rainbow Dash's innocence to her beloved Wonderbolt when she was being framed for a mysterious incident. Cool. What else? Um. <laughs> ah, look, it may seem like Rarity and Rainbow Dash don't have that much in common when you try to put it into words, but sometimes friendships can't be explained. You just have to see them in action to understand. Oh, no. You don't Actually, mean that. That's a great idea. No. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> that's a bad idea. Just go about your day of fun as you normally would. You yeah, well, here. being stared at. <laughs> oh, was that Braeburn? Rarity! You were supposed to be holding your bucket! Huh? Oh, sorry, darling. Wearing this drab jersey gave me an idea for a buckball inspired line of athleisure wear that would allow for maximum flexibility and style. But I'm ready now. <laughs> Good. Because this time, I'm going to try something new and super intense. Rarity's not going to be paying attention again. Whoa. But, uh, I was right, but at the same Rarity, time. Are you even paying attention? Huh? Oh, I mean, of course. Uh, that was cool, though. Everything, but you have to catch the ball. Really? Well, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> Understand the point of this game. Buckball time is over. <gasps> Finally. Uh, oh. See, they did something Rainbow 
Dash likes, so now it's time for something Rarity likes. Compromise. Sure. Hmm. I'm genuinely not sure. Are they too in style? Uh, isn't that what you want them to be? Well, yes, yes, but they should be ahead of the curve. If they're in fashion right now, that is a lot of. Is that glitter or sequins falling off of them? Hmm, perhaps I should get the stilettos instead. What do you think? <laughs> Unless you like tripping with every step, heels on a horse are pretty useless. <laughs> oh, contraire. They are perfect in a multitude of situations. Like Normal what? Function, afternoon teas, evening teas, high tea, tea by the sea, royal tea. Can they clean up glitter? Ew, it's on my hooves. <laughs> okay, it is glitter. <laughs> she has glitter on her face. <laughs> Rainbow Dash and Rarity are just uh, showcasing an aspect of friendship called banter. The playful and friendly exchange of remarks. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Sure. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. Collecting gemstones is my favorite. Finally, something we can agree on. Treasure hunting. <laughs> well, kind of. That didn't take long. Now they're having a great time together. They're gonna start arguing at some point. Magnifique! This will be perfect for the emerald encrusted romper I've been working on. <laughs> cool! Now what would be even cooler is if we can find a treasure chamber or something. Like now, mods place? Door, where would I be? Don't do that. Don't. You're probably gonna cause a cave in. It's not a lever. Uh oh. Oh, whoa. I don't you think don't you can that. save You're just this twilight. Sometimes that happens between pals, but no matter what, they can always get past the problem and stay good friends. Not always. We can't. You don't care about any of the things I like. It's always about you and your boring fashions. Oh, please. You don't even give my interests a chance. You have absolutely no respect for the finer things. No respect, I tell you. I guess we're just Ooh. Okay, I see why the title of it's the end in friend. And then there was the time Rainbow Dash called my Cloud Cell Couture Boutique idea impractical. Imagine that! Just because I needed Twilight to perform the butterfly wing spell on me whenever I wanted to deliver merchandise. That is impractical. A thousand times. Pick a side, don't even want restrictive heavy dresses. We need to be able to fly. Duh. Not to mention the day I was wearing a But Rarity has made Pegasi dresses that are fashionable, but you can still fly in it. Enough! Guidance counseling is for talking out your problems, not telling me everything that's ever happened in the history of Equestria. <sighs> but I've learned sometimes talking isn't enough. You need to put yourselves in one another's shoes. No way am I wearing those. <laughs> Not what literally. What I'm saying is we need a way to help you to reconnect. Follow me. Oh, whoa. That was aggressive. The library? And this helps us how? You both love books. Rainbow Dash never stops talking about Daring Do adventures. And you're a huge fan of Shadow Spade Mysteries. So you want them to read each other's series? The perfect way for you two to reconnect as friends is to read each other's favorite book. I'll read them too. Then we'll all discuss afterward. It'll be a good friends book club. Okay? I'll bring snacks. <laughs> uh, fine. 
you insist. Great! We're all here. To start, why don't you two share one thing you liked about each other's books? I bet you they didn't read them. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, I really enjoyed the part in Daring Do and the Razor of Dreams when Daring used a vicious Cragodile as a rat, and then... <laughs> Please. Uh, what are you laughing so at? Oh, sorry. It's just that I find those action sequences so ridiculously over the top. But they're real. They're real. Even that daring do. Yes, but the book's descriptions just drag on. And what about all those silly, unpronounceable names? Dr. Who's what's it? Caballero. Caballero. Just like it looks. <laughs> How hard is that? A T? Any pony? Cucumber sandwich? <laughs> or we could go over some nice friendly- Oh, hi Lyra and Bonbon. Bon. Just now noticed them in the background. Seriously? Don't even get me started on those clothing descriptions in Shadow Space! What a yawn fest! Oh, come on! <laughs> the outfit descriptions are an integral part of the plot of the Cult in Crimson! A Shadow Save mystery. So the parts that they enjoyed the most are the parts that they hated the most. Field wears only silk double-breasted waistcoats. You'd never deduce that she, in fact, was a culprit. Wait, he was? <gasps> you didn't even read it! I can see I'm gonna need reinforcements. Yeah. It's not my fault it's so boring it put me to sleep. If you can't be bothered to read the thing I like, that just further illustrates the point that we have nothing in common anymore! Anymore? At least we agree on that! From now on, I'm only hanging out with ponies who get me! <gasps> Your drama can wait! Twilight needs help! Now! What? What's wrong? Any luck? No, it's gone! You can't find your handbook, right? The Amulet of Aurora! Oh! Magical items you've been keeping for Princess Celestia? Oh, wait. That amulet can reverse the tides and summon tsunamis. If it falls into the wrong hooves, Equestria will be in grave danger. Don't worry, Twilight. I know tons about searching for lost treasures. And if I follow the culprit's clues, I'm certain I can find ah, There we go. Thank you. I'll feel so much better knowing you two are looking for it together. <laughs> While we work on a locator spell, it's the perfect solution. There appear to be no signs of damage to the surrounding artifacts, suggesting the thief did not leave in a hurry. Twilight hit it just to make them uh, work Everybody, together. Your boots are leaving sparkles all over the floor. It's not her boots. Her boots leave pink sparkles. Those are from my boots. Mine are magenta. Or magenta. Not whatever. Blue. See? were not made for trotting as advertised <laughs> nice reference we promised twilight we'd work together don't you see the amulet of aurora is made out of azurantium azurantium you know the same metal that the amulet of atonement from daring do book four is made from it always leaves sparkles wherever it goes just like this remember it's from the book you just read she didn't read it <laughs> Seriously? After giving me all that grief, you didn't read mine either? Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> as soon as we find this amulet, we are done with each other. Fine by me! The fact that there are particles floating in the air, does that an indication that the culprit flew? Are those dragon tracks? Definitely not a hoof. Are those claw marks? Who cares? I found a bigger clue. What? I hope you don't expect me to uh, wade through that. I don't think it would be safe to step in it, actually. Nah, it's too deep. We'll get stuck. Ooh, clever. Uh, what daring do book did you get that from? A 
Actually, I learned it at Scootaloo's Billy Guides Camp. Oh, nice. Well, at least you can fly across. True. Well, kind of. Nope. If one of those geysers burns off my wing feathers, I'll be out of the Wonder Bolt for weeks. Uh, I could try and slingshot my way through, but I need two perfectly placed trees, some stretchy rope, and a pit helmet. <laughs> Rarity's on it. Too bad we can't do what Daring Do did in Book 4 and find a Kragadile for a raft. Ta-da! The SS Kragadile at your service. Uh, that is awesome! Uh, I mean, it's alright, <laughs> I guess. How did you know how to do that? We may have been friends for a super long time, but you don't know everything about me yet. What's that supposed to mean? I like that Rainbow's using her wings as the motor. <laughs> Ooh, the Gisha Trail! It's gone! How are we supposed to find the Amulet of Aurora now? Um, what is that? We can talk? Sorry, what did you say? Wow. I think it's a boofer grin. They have really sensitive ears. Did you happen to see any creature with a sparkly thingy go this way? Saw it. <laughs> oh, that's hot! <laughs> Solution, an old unicorn beauty trick. That is, if you can somehow procure us a tiny bit of cloud. Now that I cloud. Do. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. How does that work Excuse with unicorn me, kind, magic? Sir, I have a special treat for you in exchange for your information. Ooh, what's that? It is a magical unicorn delicacy called effervescence. Very now, very chic. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry. Enjoy. My mouth. What's a minty? Good. Uh, now, which way did the sparkly thing go? Up, up, up there. Oh. Thank you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on, fly up there and get that amulet. Uh, we're doing this together, remember? But how can we... Oh. <laughs> Apparently you can lift rarity. <laughs> Sorry, but I wasn't leaving you behind in that swamp. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Maybe the key to unlocking this thing is in these inscriptions. Or I think they're just the marks. Key is right here. What? I couldn't decide between the boots and the stilettos, so I got both. You combine them? Okay. High heels can do that? And you call them useless. <sighs> I shouldn't have said that, or made fun of the other stuff you like to do. Some of it's actually sort of neat. I owe you an apology, too. Buckball may not be my thing, but it's something you enjoy, and you're very good at it. I never should have treated your interests like they were worth less than mine. So, does this mean we're still friends? I would very much like that. Ah, uh, yay. Now let's go find that amulet! Yeah! A secret passage. That's cool. <gasps> Sparky Lucky, you stole the amulet of Aurora? Not exactly. I knew it. You mean this was a setup to make us get along, 
Sorry to interfere, but you both really needed it. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so, even though you don't like any of the same stuff, you two are friends again? <laughs> Always. I think we just needed a chancy reminder. Yeah. You don't have to love the exact same things to have fun together. I mean, imagine if we did. How boring would that be? <laughs> Good point. When we give each other a chance to share the different things we enjoy, it can be surprisingly wonderful. Oh, too bad we wasted our day of fun. We still have a little time left. You wanna go hit the shops? I could actually use your help picking out some new buckball gear. <laughs> Do I? But only if you help me choose some buckball fan attire so I can cheer for my favorite player at the drop of a fabulous hat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go already. <laughs> I like that compromise. See? Good friends always work through their differences. <laughs> Even if it takes a little help. Nice. I like that Rarity and uh, Rainbow Dash episode. You don't get a lot of those where it's just the two of them that are the focus. Also, I figured that uh, Spike was the culprit when they found the uh, dragon tracks. And the fact that the glitter sparkles were in the air, indicating that it was a creature that could fly, which made me instantly think of Spike. But also I knew it was a setup from the start because they always do that when somebody has a disagreement. They do a setup to make them get along. I do have to admit that um, Starlight Glimmers and Twilight's um, acting for it was really good. Not like the usual overly exaggerated, oh no, I lost my thing. You two should go look for it type of um, acting that they normally do. But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. If you guys did too, give this video a like. Also be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon. Shout out to my Patreon AZ1598525. Thank you for supporting my channel. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules Reacts, signing off. Talk to you later.